Hello, I will briefly be talking about text analytics. This involves text and data mining, which is where you can extract knowledge from a data set as empirical evidence from the World Wide Web. This could be very useful when it comes to finding particular data for a research question. An example of such a research question is, is there a specific variety of English employed in certain regions around the world? I will be focusing on English used in Mexico, Costa Rica and Cuba. I chose these countries because I wanted to see how common the British variety of English is in places in close proximity to the US, especially because the majority from these regions remain quite attached to their cultural roots. I estimate that these mainly Spanish-speaking regions will be highly influenced by American English, seeing as they're close to America and probably draw many American tourists, but I also suppose they're heavily influenced by American media such as TV and music, not to mention the use of Americanisms on the internet. Mexico is the main region I'm focusing on because I believe that due to its high population it will have much more exposure to English and hopefully it will produce the most interesting results. So if you wish to know more about language in Mexico you may follow the link below to a journal on language, identity and education. My method is to choose four words which are different in some way or another in British and American English. The words I have chosen are colour, centre, criticise and defence. These have spelling differences between the two English varieties. What I will be doing is searching through the worldwide English corpus to discover the frequency of certain usages of variety in each different country. I will then present the results in tables. Table 1 shows the different usages of British and American English in Mexico, Costa Rica and Cuba. Table 2 shows how frequently these specific words are used in the UK and US. From the results I can see that Mexico is actually a lot more diverse when it comes to what variety of English is used there. I was expecting that because it had stronger links to America that it would adopt American usages of English. However, I found that the other two smaller regions used American English very highly to almost purely. And when it comes to how regularly the words are used in the UK and US, the results were quite predictable in that the UK were more accustomed to British English and the US would adopt American English spelling. For further research, one could use other programs in order to collect a wider range of data such as Web Bootcat and Sketch Engine. I could use the Sketch Engine and Web Bootcat to acquire an additional 200,000 word sample of English for countries not yet included in the worldwide English corpus. I could also try using Rayson's Log Likelihood Calculator to contrast two corpus derived word fre frequency lists. Then I would be able to emphasize words which are noticeably more frequent in one or another corpus. What this might help to do is to spot which words are more characteristic of a certain variety of English. Thank you.